So here's something we might find interesting is we'll compare because this is the back. Um, this is us taking the, the, the bike to the garage um, last night. Uh, it was just on sort of dusk, just beyond dusk. Um, and it'll be interesting now to see what the bike looks like before, because, you know, I keep going on about the triangle of light. Yeah, the, the triangle of safety, the light. I'm, I'm going to have a lot more lights in front of it, aren't I? So it's going to be interesting uh, to see the comparison. So I think we're stuck here for a while. Here we are. Let's come back to about there. Here we are. We set off. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, this is through the junction here. Is the indicator quite bright? Mm, yeah, mm, quite bright. So um, here we are. We're going, um, and again, I'm going to run this forward because uh, we get stopped at these lights again. So let's. Uh, that's the front of the camera. Here's the back camera. Here we are. We're on our way now. So I know there is street lights and all that going on. But uh, even so, you're only one light. So if someone was to look towards you, um, it looks like, although there's two lights there, it's, it only looks like one light. So it'll be interesting to see. We'll do this experiment again when I get it back. See what it looks like from, uh, from behind on, um, in dusk or, well, even in the dark. First of all, it's good to have the lights on, always. Well, they come on automatically, so that's no big thing, is it? But although it's got two headlights working, um, it is from a little further away. It only looks like one light, doesn't it? We're on dipped headlights there. Now, I think I do put full beam on it. Let's go on, and, th and this is pretty much the same now, so let me go and find uh, where where I put it on full beam, see if there's a difference. So I do change it up to full beam in a minute. It makes some difference, but not a great deal of difference. It's brighter, yeah. Hold on, about now, do I? Yeah, change up to full beam. Yeah. So it's brighter. Um... But, mm, yeah, full beam. But you don't really want to be travelling in full beam. I've switched it back off full beam now. So, let's see when I... Um, we go two different ways. So, let's see what it looks like when when I cut off. Well, again, we're at a set of traffic lights. Yeah. So, I'm going left. But even so, that indicator is quite... I'm on dip. But that indicator is quite hidden behind the hidden behind the lights, aren't they? Hmm, you could do with a much better indicator. It'll be interesting to see. I'll give Debbie a flash. I'm going this way. Debbie's carrying on and going the other way. <laughs> so just so I can tease Debbie, here I am. Here I am. <laughs> My way was the right way. Um so I was um I was just, uh, I was already ahead of her. Hmm. Yeah. And then she tries to run me over. We should be able to see that. Hold on a minute. She'll try and run me over in a minute. So she is, she, I'm waiting for the instructions. Where does the bike go? She comes towards me. I'm thinking, the silly cow's going to run me over. I better move forward. <laughs> and here she comes. <laughs> she comes back a bit more now, look. Yeah. Back in, um, she's back into the door so that uh, I can uh, we can take the jack off. That's what she was thinking. But I thought I'll get out of her way. Mm, yeah. Hello, Rick. 